myself, it was very difficult for me to be that way, you know, to listen to people just, well, you're not doing it right. You know what? Has hate been stolen from me? No. Am I dealing the most damage as a tank? No. Does it matter? No. It doesn't matter. My job is to make sure you guys don't get hit, and that's that's all that matters. And George and Forgo, you both know exactly what I'm talking about. You both don't let other people get hit. You guys are the best tanks that I know, personally. You guys are great, and I love working with you guys. And so that's why I, like, I don't ever have a problem. <laughs> I never have a problem with you guys. Uh, no, I was not the best when it came to, um, because I was, I was a Dark Knight on Final Fantasy XI. And on XI, I was all about the DPS, and I wanted to play Dark Knight so bad, and when it came out as, as a tank, I, I... I did not like that it was a tank. I wanted to deal damage. That's what I wanted to do. And so at first, I was putting everything I had on Dark Knight into strength because I just wanted to hit hard. That's all I wanted to do. And then I read that they were switching to the vitality and I was like, forget that noise. I'm just gonna put it all into vitality. So I just had to buy that little that little uh, potion or whatever to reset my stats and it was all in vitality. But um, under having it all under strength, it I wasn't the best because I I was using provoke at the wrong times. I was just learning how to really be a tank. Um, and then once I got once it switched to vitality, it was just super easy. What did Kitty say? I just let them know not to. Sorry guys, uh, I just let them know not to blame the monks because they have rotations. I had a summoner and they had higher crits than me and I was like, well, you can't sit still. Can. You can sit still, I can't. Just like I said earlier, last week's monks uh, are more like dogs chasing tracks. We can chase, but we don't catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll go back to iCam for you guys. Um, so, um, I, in all, in all honesty, uh, Lunar Moon, I'd love to hear your, your take on this. I, we talked a little bit about this last week. Uh, you can check out the full episode one on YouTube, um, at True Strike TV. You just search for True Strike TV on YouTube and you'll find us, um, the full episode. At one point we are talking about, um, uh, uh, what jobs we think are going to be coming out. Um, we talked for a little bit about it um, in 4.0. 4. 4. Um, it wasn't a huge, long conversation about that, but um, Dancer equals tank. True Strike. Yeah, you heard it first on True Strike Radio, or True Strike TV. Um, dancer equals tank. It will be a tank. Uh, that's a that's a hard confirm. <laughs> So if you guys couldn't hear me, I don't know how well this mic is working. I switched mics from last week, uh, last time. I don't know if, yeah, can you guys, go ahead, Vin, say something. Can you guys hear me? And we wait 20 seconds is correct. Well, I did make adjust some settings in Twitch, trying to make that delay a little bit. Um, they can hear, oh, wait, no. Yeah, Kitty can hear you, woohoo! Um, nice, excellent, George can hear you. That's beautiful, excellent, so. Yeah, yeah that's all. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now that meme is stuck in my head. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little inside joke between me and Vin. I apologize. Um, I know as a broadcaster, we're supposed to speak to the audience, not to each other. So I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, yeah, as a, yeah. So if you couldn't hear Vin before, I don't know if you guys heard. She's uh, if Dancer ends up being 
if a dancer is a, a job that's coming and Square decides to make it <laughs> a, uh, a tank, hey, yeah. she's going to yell at Square Enix until they change it. <laughs> um, so, let's see here. And we still never really hit the topic of Relic. It's, it's, it's like it's re repelling us. Every time we try and get back to the topic, something much more interesting comes up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So last last time last episode, we talked as I as I was saying, uh, we talked a little bit about the jobs, what they what we think they're going to be. I think that Square's introducing a new um, a new um, job type. So you've got tanks, damage, healers. I think they're introducing um, uh, support class. Uh, I know. A buff only. No damage, no heals, no tanking. Just buff. Yep, dancers just stand there. Or, well, well rather, dance in place like Yuna from Final Fantasy X. As, well, she was a songstress uh, in Final Fantasy X-2. Uh, one of the jobs she had was songstress, and she would sing a song and do a little dance, and um, it would buff the party, or it would blind the enemy. You would dance? Uh, so they're, so they're redoing, um, the entire job system, uh, uh, not redoing it completely from the ground up, but they are making huge adjustments to, like, Marauder and, yeah, and stuff like that. That's what I've heard. They're getting rid of those because there's no use for them. Before, there was going to be a use for them in 1.0. But 1.0 failed, and Yoshi P took over and said, what's up, here's 2.0, enjoy it, bitches, and we did. So, <laughs> um, so from, yes, from what I've heard, Lunar, they are getting rid of classes. Um, they are not adding more classes as evidenced by 3.0's release when they introduced Dark Knight. Um, uh, Astrologian and uh, Machinist, they just started at 30. <laughs> it is a button smasher. Yeah, the, the Machinist is a button smasher. I don't care what you say. Um, <laughs> like, it, yeah, there's there's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I want to carry 99 pebbles in my inventory and just chuck them at people. <laughs> that would be the best, honestly. Um, what, what, what I would like for like some of the holiday stuff that they do, like we've got uh, the Starlight uh, celebration coming up. Oh yeah, level 70 is coming as well, but we do, and that's going to be in 4.0. Um, but uh, outside of that, we do have um, uh, the Starlight Celebration coming up, which is going to be fun. I think it would be nifty if you did get something. If you guys remember, like the old Easter ones from 11, um, where you got like the the little egg that you would put in your 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 ammo slot on your in your inventory you remember that it would like boost your hp or your mp by like one percent um which when you're at a high level one percent is a pretty significant amount if you've gotten you know eight thousand hit points one percent is 80 hit points you know that's that's pretty decent um <laughs> um <laughs> You gotta tell me, I missed it. Well, you gotta freaking watch. I don't uh, watch. I read. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, well, my screenshot's still gonna have all this on the side, too, and that at the top, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, I could do that. 
wow, wow, wow. In all honesty, Kitty, I'm excited to do more leveling. Um, I've kind of, like, I've been trying to work on, like, personally, I've been working on my, uh, excuse me, I've been working on my, uh, my Beast Tribe quest. Uh, <laughs> Ada does not approve. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've been working on my Beast Tribes quest, and there's just so much experience that's just being wasted. And I'm, and as you, if you guys remember from last week, I said if, if as a Dragoon, well, I'm going full-time Dragoon. If I can't do it as a Dragoon, I'm not going to do it. And that's why, um, I mean, the only, the exception to that at this point is, who's that? Is that Lunar? Oh, that is Lunar. She changed. Um, oh, she changed her outfit. Um, but yes, um... If I can't do it as Dragoon, I'm not going to do it. Uh, the only exception, like I said, is going to be for Palace of the Dead. Um, but outside of Palace of the Dead and, and areas like that, um, I will not do anything other than Dragoon. Um, and so... Um, sorry, Lunar, your outfit um, actually messed me up. I totally lost my train of thought because your outfit. I like that outfit, and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, from the uh, from the store. Okay. Well, just to let you guys know, I am accepting donations. <laughs> For, if you want to send uh, send Vin or myself uh, outfits, we, we'll take them. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, yay! That was a great time for him to do that too. Um. So let's see here. Where were we? Um. Well, we've been going so far for 40 minutes just rambling. I forgot my notes at work again. <laughs> Who just got on? Hey, welcome. A oh, relic. No, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's talk about relic. Vin thinks that uh, it's cursed for us to talk about relic because every time we talk about relic, we end up getting dragged over to something else. So, <laughs> not cursed, but it, it's, it just must mean that it's there must be something more important. Yeah, I shouldn't be talking about it if we keep getting pulled away. Congratulations, Lunar. That is a beautiful relic weapon. How long did it take you to do the new, the the most recent uh, set of relic stuff? <laughs> I like it, Forgo. Yeah, I heard that this portion didn't take long. Uh, the other one with the uh, the ether sands that took me forever. That's taking me forever. I'm currently at 27, 27 out of 240, and it's just it's just taken a long time. So. Uh, let's see here. Um, did, did has anybody found a great way to just kind of get all your sands that you need? Oh, good lord, Forgo! I can't tell if you're saying that in a um, a dirty way or if you're saying that in it's a. In a yeah, it's always in a dirty way with Forgo. <laughs> Yeah, and see, I was doing Vilekin for a while. I did that for... I don't know. How long that was I doing that? Oh, RNG, though. It is. It's very RNG. Very RNG. Are you ready to go Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's always dirty. What do you need? Um, yeah, this isn't plugged in. I can get up. What do you need? Okay. So, um, let's see here. Oh, just bring the bottle. Okay, guys. So, what we're going to do is I got to get a chair for Vin. She's putting her laptop on a chair. Um, and then I'm going to grab us some shots. We'll do some shots and then 